Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Marvel has just revealed more of their plans for Doctor Doom in the upcoming movies and how they're planning on elevating him to the same level with some of their best villains that they've done in the movies before, like Loki, for instance. A lot of them, also in the case of Loki, that you don't necessarily think of villains anymore, too, because Loki has been on multiple redemption arcs because of all the multiple versions of his character. Moving into Marvel Phase 6 and beyond, Doctor Doom was just one of the biggest characters that they could have used as a villain that they hadn't used yet and tried to do a couple different times. There's a lot of Doctor Doom deleted scenes from previous movies where they basically took him out of the story they were previously planning on using, so I'll explain all that too. We're in the middle of that Deadpool and Wolverine ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know in the comments which other movies do you want to see Doctor Doom in in the next several years. One of the best things about the character is he works in pretty much any type of movie, any type of story. Speaking of which, we saw that Doctor Doom Secret Wars comic book from real life inside the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, like an actual book that you could go out to a comic book store and buy right now. It's Secret Wars number 5 with Doctor Doom's face on the cover. It raised so many questions, like is this just a joke on Secret Wars? Is that why they put the comic book in the actual trailer since everyone's been talking about Secret Wars for years at this point? There's even another joke about Secret Wars during that Deadpool and Wolverine shut off your phones PSA that plays in front of a lot of movies in just regular theaters right now too. So I heard Secret Wars is finally going to introduce... You get reception down here? I don't have a phone. Or are they actually going to do God Emperor Doom like the one on the cover? We have that Fantastic Four movie, which is supposed to mostly take place in an alternate universe, which will also feature Doctor Doom. Is it the same Doctor Doom that Marvel plans to use in Secret Wars or a completely different one? Who are they going to cast as the character? Where else are we going to see him? Which other movies? We finally have some answers to a lot of this. The first actual place we're meant to see Doctor Doom is during that Fantastic Four movie next year. He'll come from that same alternate universe that they come from. Galactus in that universe is meant to be the main villain of the movie. We'll meet the whole regular team, but Franklin Richards is also supposed to be born during the events of the movie. They'll get into a lot of that really trippy Franklin Richards-Galactus relationship from the comics. It's not meant to be an origin story, so when the movie picks up, the team will have been together for a while. They'll already have their powers, and they're like the Avengers are in the MCU. In their universe, they're celebrities because of all the adventures they've had. They face a lot of their classic villains already, including their version of Doctor Doom, who at some point in the movie will resurface and try to deal with Galactus himself as well. By the end of that movie, their team will escape their universe somehow. Either an incursion happens, or Galactus tries to destroy their world or the TVA is going to get involved and somehow pull them out of their universe. They'll survive, eventually come to the MCU, and be the main MCU version of the team going forward, even after the big Marvel reboot during Secret Wars. They're supposed to do the same thing with their version of Doctor Doom, so their Doctor Doom will become the main Doctor Doom eventually. That's why we haven't seen Doctor Doom inside the MCU before. Even though there was all this talk about him supposed to have been in Black Panther Wakanda forever, there's this whole subplot where he was looking for the underwater vibranium. Lake Bell's character was supposed to be called Lucia Von Barda. She was actually calling herself that character before the movie came out, but then she sort of switched tactics. It sounds like behind the scenes, they removed that part of the story. So they're like, please stop calling yourself Lucia Von Barda. Please stop saying you're from Latveria. During Moon Knight Episode 1, when he winds up in that other country, he's supposed to be in front of Doctor Doom's castle here in the backdrop, like there's just meant to be an Easter egg in the background. One of the many early plans for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is that Doctor Doom was actually going to be on the Illuminati, like that empty chair was meant to be for Doctor Doom, but in one of the versions of the movie, there was a version when it was Iron Man, and there was a version that was other characters too. They wound up switching the roster of the Illuminati several times when they were making that movie, but in one version, it was Doctor Doom. The writer actually talked about how they baked in some of Doctor Doom's Easter eggs to the movie, and it sounds like it was because they were going to put him in the actual movie at one point. It's a really special treat, uh, the detail of the teleportation device he uses to get into the scene is something we took from the comics, that's Doctor Doom's, uh, Doctor Doom's, uh, time door. Yet to imagine in that version of the movie, in the 838 universe, Reed Richards and Doctor Doom had set their differences aside, and that's why he was using Doctor Doom's time door technology. But it's also based on quantum energy, so there's a lot of Kang Easter eggs there too, so you can kind of see some of the early plans that they had in the background that have now changed based on everything that's happened the last couple of years. Marvel is known for doing that all the time, like they change the movies all the time while they're making them, and a lot of times, deleted scenes from previous movies that they won't release online will get turned into bigger plot in future movies. 
Now it sounds like that's basically what happened with Doctor Doom in the last several times they tried to use him in the movies. Like, let's just save him for a much bigger plan. So the fact that the Fantastic Four movie version of Doctor Doom will become the main Doctor Doom also means that he's going to be the same version during Secret Wars. Now that doesn't mean they'll necessarily go full God Emperor Doom from the comics, but there are a lot of rumors that Marvel is developing the character as a multiversal villain, and they want to develop him the same way they did with the Loki character in the first Thor movie and the first Avengers movie. Where essentially he starts out as a mid-boss, like a relatively big boss on a lower level, then is elevated to a much, much more powerful villain leaving the opportunity for him after Secret Wars into this big Marvel reboot to get his own redemption arc or continue to be a villain or flip-flop back and forth in future movies into Marvel Phase 7 because Loki's also done that himself too. Like, in the grand sense, he's been on a redemption arc, but he also did bad things as he was on that redemption arc. Part of the other big thing going forward after Secret Wars Marvel Phase 7 is we're heading into more core X-Men saga, like we call it the mutant saga, focusing more on characters that are totally fresh and new to Marvel in the MCU just in general. Honestly, I think this is a smart move for Marvel, like they're pivoting away from the characters that they've been dealing with for like the last 10 to almost 20 years by the time we get there, because remember, Secret Wars is still a couple years away. Less focus on the Avengers, more focus on the X-Men, for instance. That's why you've been seeing all the mutant saga talk the last couple of years. The MCU going forward after Secret Wars post-reboot resembling more like the world of X-Men 97 in the 90s universe where Avengers and X-Men both exist and interact with each other all the time. Not always friendly either. Doctor Doom as a character works in any kind of story in this situation. Like he works in Avengers movies as a villain, X-Men movies, more tech-based, Iron Man types of movies because he's a man of technology and a man of magic, so he also works in the magic and supernatural-based movies too. Speaking of which, the other major place Doctor Doom is supposed to appear after the Fantastic Four but before Secret Wars is in Doctor Strange 3. A lot of you also probably predicted this early on when they started talking about doing Doctor Doom at some point. Like, you know what? He should be in a Doctor Strange movie. That would be badass. And it's all because Doctor Strange 3 is currently supposed to be one of the last movies before Secret Wars goes down. Based on that post credit scene from Multiverse of Madness, it seems like they're going to adapt part of the Time Runs Out storyline. And Doctor Doom is a huge part of that with Doctor Strange. It basically explains how he goes from being normal Doctor Doom, like regular villain, to becoming God Emperor Doom and the main villain of comic book Secret Wars. There's been a lot of talk about the way Marvel has changed their plans for Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 over the past couple of years. There was a big retreat that they went on, like a story retreat they typically do on a regular basis year to year, planning the next couple of movies that they haven't talked about yet. The last big one they went on was supposedly after Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania tanked. And even before Jonathan Majors ran into all of his legal problems, they talked about pivoting away from all their Kang plans. Like they had all this Kang Dynasty stuff that they were working on for Avengers 5, the Council of Kangs. They were going to be huge and they were going to carry forward into Secret Wars. At the time during the Marvel story retreat, they actually talked about pivoting to Doctor Doom as an overarching villain for Secret Wars. Previously, it sounds like what they planned on doing, like assuming that Jonathan Majors had not gotten in trouble and they proceeded with their original plans, is the Council of Kangs would have fought the main version of the Avengers in the 616 universe, like the main MCU during Avengers 5, but then a Beyonder type of character would have surfaced and killed the Council of Kangs. And the rumor is that, at least at the time, their first plan was that that Beyonder character would have been another Kang variant, probably the one that seemingly died during Ant-Man the Wasp Quantumania. They would just explain that he survived somehow and was enacting his revenge on the Council of Kangs because that was his whole trip during that movie is that he wanted to kill the Council of Kangs. That was what he was going to do the minute he escaped. He winds up collapsing the rest of the multiverse into a single battle world and ruling over it as God Emperor like the more recent version of Secret Wars combined with the classic 80s version of Secret Wars. A couple of the Marvel heroes wind up surviving along with other heroes from the multiverse and this is how you bring in X-Men, Fantastic Four from the Fox Marvel movies like you bring Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, basically like all the other characters from the multiverse you would want to put on a multiverse Avengers team. Doctor Strange was going to put that team together, they would fight and defeat this other Beyonder variant and then restore the multiverse. Sort of like the ending of the more recent Secret Wars story. But then they had all their issues with Jonathan Majors. They wound up firing the actor. They're going to recast the Kang character so that they can wrap up that Kang Council of Kang storyline. 
It sounds like a version of that will still happen during Avengers 5, but they're going with a slightly more grounded story, like less multiverse, more grounded, then treating Secret Wars like a completely separate type of movie, like totally separate threat. But that movie still largely being a lot like the more recent Secret Wars combined with the classic 80s Secret Wars, but giving them an opportunity to do a completely separate type of villain if they wanted to. That basically leaves them an opportunity to do a version of God Emperor Doom, but just because they use that joke during the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, I'm really thinking that they're probably not going to do it exactly like God Emperor Doom from the comics. That would be kind of weird for them to call their shot Babe Ruth style in the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer. Typically when you hear Deadpool joking about something, it means that they're not going to do it. Everybody let me know in the comments too, are you happy that they actually removed Doctor Doom from a lot of the previous movies, like all these deleted scenes that I talked about during the video, or would you have rather have seen him? Because it would have created some more issues for them going forward, like if we saw Doctor Doom in a bunch of the previous movies in the MCU or in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, it would have been harder for them to explain which version shows up in Fantastic Four, then which version winds up surviving in the new version of the rebooted MCU after Secret Wars. You can kind of see the wheels turning in Marvel's head behind the scenes. Kevin Feige said, like, why don't we just take him out of the story and it'd be way easier to explain him showing up the way we want to use him in the bigger movies. I am sure we'll hear more about his involvement in the new Fantastic Four movie. They'll probably wait to cast the actor till like right before they actually film his scenes. And he's not supposed to show up till the end of the movie. So don't expect to hear about an actor for a little while. Whatever they wind up announcing, of course I will do videos about it. My next big video will be Acolyte Episode 3, then we have The Boys Season 4 episodes in a couple days, and House of the Dragon Season 2 episodes a couple days after that, so June and July is going to be stacked. Be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that. Congratulations, don't be such a Morty, you're the giveaway winner from my last big Deadpool and Wolverine trailer video. Everybody click here for that Juggernaut trailer with a bunch of Thanos Easter eggs, the movie's gonna be crazy and click here for my non-spoilery House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 1 review. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.